there's now Windows subsystem for Linux malware that's able to install malicious code on the host machine. Because of course there is. <laughs> if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and maybe share this with your friends. And also just hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the cool stuff we're doing here on the channel. Now, Windows security researchers had once upon a time dismissed the idea of the Windows subsystem for Linux being, you know, a viable attack vector. Back in 2017, researchers from Checkpoint had fashioned a proof of concept WSL attack that they called Bashware, uh, which when used would be able to abuse WSL to run a malicious ELF binary. ELF binaries being uh, the Linux binary format. Now, this proof of concept was deemed unrealistic because WSL was still in its infancy at that point, and uh, it didn't come pre-installed on Windows 10. But four years later, and Black Lotus Labs reports that they've found several malicious Python payloads, which have been compiled into ELF binaries targeting Debian. Their report detailed how the Linux binaries acted as loaders in order to either run an embedded payload or were able to fetch the malicious code from a server. Then they would inject the payload into a running process uh, using API calls on the host machine. Read, Windows. Functionally, these attacks aren't very sophisticated, but because of their novelty, most antivirus software suites lack the definitions to actually protect against this. Furthermore, Mike Benjamin of Black Lotus Labs said, quote, while the use of WSL is generally limited to power users, those users often have escalated privileges in an organization. This creates blind spots as the industry continues to remove barriers between operating systems. Now, there were two variants of this uh, attack that were found in the wild. The researchers said that one of the variants was actually written in pure Python, while the other used C types to access the Windows API calls. It was suggested by the uh, researchers that the latter of these two payloads was still under development because there was no way for it to actually run itself. Um, again, these are very uh, simple attacks that use a novel interface in Windows. Um, it doesn't seem like this is capable of breaking out of a regular VM or anything like that. And if you're not running WSL, you really have nothing to worry about. I'm sure that now the reports are out there, antivirus researchers are going to have definitions in their database uh, relatively quickly. But really what I think this goes to show is that Windows is never safe. I think that's going to do it for this video, though. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys being here. I would love to know what you guys think about uh, the WSL exploit that allows malware to be distributed in a Linux binary for Windows. I am fascinated by this. Let me know down in the comments. I want to say thank you to the amazing people who support this show on Patreon and my YouTube members. You guys, I, I would not be able to do this if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you very much. I really appreciate your support. If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the cool stuff we're doing here on the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.